Voters are angry. Did you know we have an election coming up next week? That's right, midterm elections, that's where pretty much nobody votes and usually the, uh, the incumbent president, his party gets banged up and that's what it looks like is gonna happen right now. So CNN and ORC had a new poll out on some numbers and let's take a look. 53% of Americans disapprove of Obama's job performance. That actually doesn't strike me as that high because considering how much shit he's getting right now and how much uh, you know, stuff is going on between ISIS and Ebola and everything else, that, that actually seems right. 30% are very angry. 38% are somewhat angry. It's a fine line between those two. 31% express no anger. Uh, those are the people that are on prescription drugs. And 42% uh, agree with Obama on issues that matter most to them, while 55% say they disagree. All right, so as I said, these numbers actually don't seem that polarizing to me, considering how polarizing everything seems in our political discourse these days. Um, and yes, the, the incumbents party usually gets crushed. If you look at Drudge every day, it sounds like the Republicans are gonna storm in and crush everybody. Um, do you wanna make any, uh, any predictions a week before the midterms? You got anything? You're reading this stuff all day. I see what you're doing this, out there. Yeah, this is the thing. It's, it's always hard to predict, and this is where the world's changing. Again, we talked about polls earlier and how people will express what they think is going to look a certain way and what they'll say, but no one knows what they do when they get into the ballot box. Um, and also, with this, I think younger voters, when and if they do come out, they're not going to tell you what they're going to say before, or they're going to, whatever anger they have expressed towards Obama, whether it be left or right, we're going to assume all oh, conservatives are these 53% that hate him because they want more conservative values, and then the rest that actually, the 30% that say they love everything about him must be such libs. I think a large percentage of his distrust and the dislike for Obama comes from the left that is upset that he didn't go liberal that, enough. Exa well, that's and, a lot no, of... No one's going to write that down in that poll. They're going to say, oh, the country's against him because he's totally not conservative enough because he's a Democrat. Right. It's, just, it's, it's too black and white. Yeah, again. you know, that's actually a great point because everyone obviously talks about conservatives not liking Obama, but it's the, it's the liberals that are actually really angry at him for legitimate reasons for not doing what he said he was going to do. The conservatives didn't want him to do right. what, he did, what he said he was going to do and he didn't do it. I think that made sense. I think there was some sense in there. Uh, people don't vote, right, Hank? I mean, do you vote? Do you vote? Please tell me you vote. I, I vote. You I vote? vote? Okay, good. I, I mean, vote every term, but I vote when I can. You, I vote when it counts. You vote every couple I, years. I when vote it, whenever the view tells me to go and vote. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't. I don't do the. Maybe I, I do every four years. I don't. I don't care. But I mean, Hank, they I always say this is the most election, uh, important election right, ever. Right, don't right. they say so every time, time this is the most important one in your life? Um, you know, in L.A. here, our yeah. mayor Eric Garcetti. I think he got thirteen percent of the vote, and he became our mayor because nobody votes. So that means thirteen percent of the constituents voted for the guy who's in charge of our city. And then we wonder why there's potholes blowing up all over the place. Right. And I had a flood in front of my house, and the power went out again last week. I mean, really, like the city's crumbling, but we, but nobody votes. Votes. What can we do to get people to vote more? Um, engage in social media and, and give away free stuff, yeah, like, like like all the ta like all the talk shows do. I mean, I mean, I think that's why people aside, have talked about that. I know you're joking, but they've talked about they, paying people or, well, or giving. But what's that thing where what was that? And I, I know this was true. I think most more people voted for one of the seasons of American Idol, the finalist, than they <laughs> did for their own president. Yeah. And also, let's not forget that Obama was able to really activate a young fan base via social media. Aside from the fact that he was a, an amazing candidate, yeah. and to speak on to your point about everyone being so upset at him, I mean, I, whenever I see a poll like this, first you know I make up numbers all the fucking time, and I am <laughs> like I don't trust the I want I want to know what your sample size was. Usually with a CNN poll, it's like two thousand people randomly surveyed over the phone, right? Like yeah. if you actually dig into the numbers, you're like, eh, is this really a cross section of America? Well, that's why I try not to right. go too deep into the numbers of the poll and just the broader right. discussion. Well, I mean, the broader discussion is everyone is going to come at it from their own life experience, so. You you know, for me, when I was younger, taxes were not an issue. I don't care, right? And Obama, I'm happy with him. You know why? Because he was the first sitting president to endorse gay rights. I'm like, that's cool. That's all. That was that was, that was on my agenda. I don't own a business. I don't. I don't. You know. I don't run shit. You know. Right. I don't. Like I don't. You got. You got yeah. one thing that was important to you. Yeah. yeah. He he followed through on his promise to me. So I'm happy with that. I can understand someone else who's like. You know who owns a who, who I said owns a bunch of people. Well, who oversees a bunch of people? <laughs> yes, not who, yet. Not who, yet. Who oversees a bunch of people, and now he, Obamacare has screwed up his whole business model. Mm -hmm. That pissed me off. Mm -hmm. That would right, liberal um, or not? Yeah. Do you think part of the apathy is just the way the game is played? So, for example, with immigration now, Obama has already said. Well, first off, the 
Republicans won't play ball on immigration, so he can't get anything passed the way it's supposed to be passed, right? Uh -huh. Where they Congress writes a law and he signs it. That's the way it's supposed to work. We know that's not going to happen. <laughs> so now he's trying to do this executive action stuff, but he's already said he's not going to do anything till after the election because he doesn't want to hurt Democrats by doing something politically unpopular, which then just shows how screwed up the whole system is. Republicans won't play ball. Mm -hmm. He is going to have to do something that there's even constitutional questions, and he knows it will be politically unpopular, so he has to wait till after. Like, the whole game is so fucked. You can't do anything wrong. You can't do it. As soon as you get elected, your next job is to get elected again. Your job is not to represent anyone. It's but not, not to pass guy. your laws. It's, now, but, but, the second time. Well, yeah, but now, now he has to have the pressure of being worried about, oh, are you screwing up the midterm election? Are you or his you? legacy. Yeah. What is yeah. his legacy What's it going to look gonna like be? when you're yeah. done? Yeah. And it, it, it's, it's been on headlines. Like, oh, can I, if I'm trying to get elected in Alaska, oh, Obama's screwing up because I'm a Democrat and they're going to say, he's just like Obama. So they connect it and look at these numbers. And then it, it makes it, and by the way, I think people are uneducated on what the system is and how it works especially when politicians are perpetuating it, coming on TV or just speaking from whatever post they have to say, hey, you know what the president's doing? This president is taking the country and he's being a dictator. Do not. It's impossible for him to do it. But then when they want him to be this dictator, right. you know he's not going over and killing ISIS with his bare hands. Okay, which one is it? Does, is, is there a checks and balances system right. or is it just him running the country? Yeah, yes, and as <laughs> I say it, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Just every week I've been trying to say this. We have something called separation of powers in this country. So Congress is supposed to write laws, the president is supposed to sign them into law, and then the judicial branch, the courts, are supposed to decide whether they're legal. If we could just apply those basic principles, I think things would be a lot better. But bigger than that, just vote. Just go out and vote. And voting should be a national holiday. That yes, would be, that was my last point. Yeah, that would be my solution to this whole uh. thing.